Hello and you're once again welcome to MES on Constructions where we discuss all things engineering, architecture and 3D modeling. Today, I would like to introduce you to an impressively powerful render engine that can be installed as an add-on in Blender. This render engine is called LuxCore. When installed and activated, LuxCore becomes integrated into the Blender software as a render option in addition to EV and Cycles render engines. In this video, I will try to take you through how to download and install this add-on and incorporate the render engine into Blender. For instance, I was able to get these rendered results using LuxCore Render without putting much effort into it. LuxCore comes with a default lighting setup that enhances photorealistic renders and I'm pretty sure it will require some level of mental gymnastics to accomplish photorealistic lightings in cycles. This implies that while LuxCore may not be necessarily better than cycles render, it can save a lot of time that it may require to set up a photorealistic lighting for your scene. Now, to download the add-on, you need to visit LuxCore's download website, luxcorerender.org slash download slash as shown. You may simply type that in your search bar and make sure that you are connected to the internet. You can check your version of Blender to select which version of LuxCore is compatible. I have Blender 4.3.2 and this implies that I can download Blend LuxCore 2.10.0 as recommended and base this tutorial video on how to install Blend LuxCore on Blender 4.3. The downloading process is quite simple. Just click on the download icon and that's it. It's just about 4 megabytes. Now let's click and go ahead to download. Downloaded as a zip file. It's important to note that LuxCore Render, much like Blender, is an open source software. Now once it has finished downloading, you can minimize or close the window. Then go on to open Blender or return to your Blender UI if it's already open. Then you can go straight to your preferences to install the add-on. We can install Blend LuxCore either as an extension or as an add-on in Blender, but I would like to install it as an add-on. We need to find the downloaded file and in order to do that, you can go here, click and select the option install from disk. You can locate the directory of the downloaded file on your computer. As for me, it's in my downloads. And once we find it, we can come down here to click on install from disk. This may take some time to load up, but you can simply wait for it. It doesn't usually take too long. And now it's done, we can simply search for it or scroll down or hop to find it in our list of installed add-ons. And if you go on to look into your extensions, you also find Blink Lost Core and you see the properties is shown. Click here to explore software details and information. We can go up here to click on that, then click on preferences to save preferences. Then we can toggle back to our 3D viewport. We can confirm installation by going to our render properties, and you can see that we have LuxCore render right here. We can go into our LuxCore render and scroll down to explore the properties of the render engine. Much like Cycles Render, some render properties can be changed in here to optimize the quality of your rendered scene. You can also use Cycles Render settings, but there are some things that aren't compatible in LuxCore Render in Cycles settings. Therefore, you may need to make manual adjustments to sync textures and materials, and this is basically because materials and texture nodes in Cycles Render don't work the same way in LuxCore Render, as LuxCore nodes are quite different. In order to take full advantage of LuxCore Render, we need to use LuxCore assets. You can look at assets by using N key as shown. Downloadable free and paid assets are readily available in LuxCore. And if you want to add assets, you can simply click this. 
you have various assets here that can make your scene to look more photorealistic. However, in Blender 4.3, you may run into trouble with loading up lock scroll assets after you have installed Blend Lock Scroll. And this may be because the directory of the asset is missing or cannot be located on your operating system by Blender. This problem can be fixed by going back to Lock Score Download website. Scroll down on the page to find Lock Score Sample version 2.10.0. Click on it and wait for it to direct you to a download page. You are redirected to a Lock Score asset download page on github.com. On the asset download page, select the version of LockScore assets to download based on your operating system. I use a Windows operating system and can download the LockScore assets compatible with my operating system right here. Once you have downloaded the assets on your PC, you can go on to locate the file path of the download. Then double click. It was downloaded as a zip file. I can go ahead to double click on the zip file to unzip and view the folder in the file. I have lock score folder here and I can go on to copy that on my clipboard. You could also use extract method to the destination, but I prefer to just copy it for the sake of this video and also it's an easier approach if you aren't sure of the file destination. Then go into your Blender file location. You can do that by simply going to file location through your Blender shortcut. Now, in your Blender file location, you can paste the copied lock score folder as shown and press continue to confirm the action. You may now return to Blender user interface to explore the lock score assets integrated into your Blender software. They are both downloadable free and paid assets, but you need internet connection to download an asset to your sim. And the beautiful part isn't just in the part that assets can be easily added to your sim, but you can also copy or integrate materials and textures of these assets into your 3D model. You may go on to visit LockScore download website and look at the LockScore gallery to explore in that images using LockScore. You may also check out example scenes as shown to explore scenes that are rendered with LockScore Render Engine. In a nutshell, LockScore Render seems to help to achieve a better photorealistic scene faster compared to Cycles or EV Render. This is it for today on how to install LockScore Render on Blender 4.3 and I sincerely hope that now you have a way around issues that pertain to loading up your LockScore Render assets with Blend LockScore in Blender. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and remember to turn on your notification bell to be the first to see our latest videos. Thanks for watching and bye for now.